You know, musicians always seem to get the hotties. But it's tough to be a musician. Can you imagine playing a scraper in a file so well that they just line up? Well, crickets do. So they deserve them. Grasshoppers and katydids make music too, but the crickets are the most famous singers. It is true that most of all that acoustic effort is about sex. Usually the males call and the females come in for a look or whatever. These sexy sounds are made when the scraper at the base of one wing is rubbed across the file on the base of the other wing and a whole lot of shaking goes down. Studying crickets, grasshoppers, and katydids is a lot like working in a shoe store because you're always having to look at the feet. That's because to separate the groups, the key characters are on their legs, such as the number of tarsi segments. Crickets have three tarsi segments. Crickets have cerci, and the ovipositor is straight, not curved. These first three families are somewhat different from normal crickets. Cave crickets live in dark, damp places. Yeah, like caves. Little weird, right? They are brownish, humpback, and they have antennae so long they must pick up Radio Havana. The antennae are also helpful for feeling around in total cave darkness. Cave crickets have super long legs and can run and jump like they're in the NBA. Jerusalem crickets live under stones and in loose soil during the day and come out to feed at night on juicy plant stuff. They can pack a punch with those mandibles. To tell them apart, besides their bohemian look, their hind legs do not extend beyond their abdomen and their front legs are adapted for digging all the way to Jerusalem or wherever they're going. Leaf rolling crickets have four segmented tarsi, an upcurved blade like ovipositor, no tympana on their slender fortibia, a wide space between the antennae, no spines on the dorsal side of the front tibia, and the hind femur extends beyond the abdomen. For protection, leaf rolling crickets cut a leaf and then painstakingly sew it together with silk. Somehow, even the antennae fit in. Field crickets are well known in part because of some European and Asian species live indoors and in many cultures, they are a symbol of good luck. However, they don't exactly bring good luck to farmers. They can sing and chirp day and night. Field crickets have long antennae, fixed spines on the hind tibia, all the tarsi have three segments, and the ovipositor is needle-shaped. Tree crickets are often pale green or whitish. They are sometimes called thermometer crickets because their chirping depends on the ambient temperature. A night walk through the forest will often find them sitting on leaves in trees and shrubs. The males are often whiter than the females. Tree crickets have no acelli, the second tarsal segment is small, and the hind tibia has small teeth between larger spines. Bush crickets are found in the bushes, meaning not on the ground. These small crickets are often pale or ghostly like. The hind tibia has small teeth between the larger fixed spines, but the second tarsal pad is large and flattened.
pygmy bush crickets, or swordtail crickets, are less than half an inch long. Swordtail crickets get their name from their straight and sharp ovipositor. <coughs> Jumpy little guys. They have a hind tibia without small teeth between longer movable spines, and that second tarsal segment is expanded. Tree crickets and bush crickets live above the ground, but other crickets seem to be afraid of heights. Now to find ground crickets, you have to grovel. Groveling can be fun. Ground crickets are not found in the bushes. They are brown or black crickets, common in open areas. They have no small teeth between the spines of the hind tibia, and that second tarsal segment is not flattened. Ground crickets are mostly less than half an inch. Also, the last palp segment is twice as long as the segment before. Mole crickets are the sand hogs of the order. Their front legs are adapted for digging into moist soil, usually around ponds and streams. Ooh, who does your nails? The males sing, not while digging, and they have a tympana on the front tibia. Experts on their songs report that they lisp less than Katie did. Rainforests have provided a habitat for incredible diversity. Yet without them, cricket watching could be quite boring. <coughs> Crickets, like so many insects, are cool up close, yet so hard to find in the wild. But if you don't take the effort to track them down, at least take the time to enjoy their songs. <coughs> <coughs>